Hey folks, this is Steve Vai, and I'm asked to tell you the story of my nightmare gig. It was one gig, and it happened in 1980, when I was on tour with Frank Zappa. Now this was, you gotta understand, this was the first tour I've ever done. I was 20 years old first tour. on tour. First tour, on tour, the first week of the first tour. I'm 20 years old and I'm on tour with Frank Zappa. <laughs> and I had no idea how to get my sea legs together, you know, how to navigate the road, so to speak. So I was staying up very late, not eating right, not sleeping much. And that doesn't work when you're on tour. And uh, we had gotten, to, and I, you know, I'd been from, I lived in New York and then California. So yeah. then we, the first show was uh, first, after I think maybe a week, we were in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this was the gig. It was at the Armadillo World Headquarters. I think it was, Al I'm pretty sure it was Albuquerque. I think it was. And um, this was a club and Frank had done a gig there and made a pretty uh, popular record there, uh, Bongo Fiori. And th this was the last show of this historical venue because they were closing it down after they asked Frank to do the last show because he basically popularized uh -huh. it with uh, Bongo Fiori. Yeah. Armadillo World Headquarters. And uh, it was a large club, and we were doing two shows that night. So two and a, two, two and a half hour shows. And it was, an, it was an old club, so there was it was the summer. It was way down south, and it was 120 degrees on the stage. And I was sick as a dog. I mean, I was so sick, I was dehydrated, because like I said, I was, out on tour and I wasn't yeah. sleeping at it, you know? And I was so sick that, and you know, you gotta do the show anyway. You know, yeah. you know not do the show no matter what, right. you know? Well, almost no matter what. <laughs> but I was so so out of it that, they, you know those gurneys that you, you wheel things on? <laughs> you know, what are they out. called? The, like, you know, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, gurney. What are they, Thomas? The, with a hand truck? Had the fork, not, not a forklift, but. Like a hand truck. Yeah. The UPS yeah. brings packages on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to stand on that and like get strapped in and get wheeled out onto the <laughs> stage and then <laughs> propped up next to the keyboard player there, Tommy Mars. And all I had on was a pair of cut off jean shorts, <laughs> right? It was and, a, and a bucket. <laughs> because not only was I, projectile vomiting through the whole show, I was pissing out of my ass. <laughs> and, Amazing. It, and it was not fun. And I remember just standing up there and, and, and I'm just drenched in all sorts of bodily fluids. <laughs> and I remember I had to concentrate to even just like, I, mean, I was just, I was kind of like, you know, like this. And I had to just move my head slowly to see the, the guitar even. Because if I would have went like that, I just would have, kind of fell over. I was so, no no sense of, you know. And this wasn't easy material either. You're- No, this was Frank Zappa music. Yeah, every shows. night you are playing on the cusp of- Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, and oddly enough, I played great. I, I played, I don't know why, maybe because I wasn't so concerned. There was no room in my brain to be concerned with anything else except just, you know, playing. And I played okay and, uh, I just was so sick and it was so hot. And I remember at one point, everybody on the stage is sweating and Tommy Mars is doing this keyboard solo. And he was one of the most brilliant musicians yeah. I had ever seen and ever yeah. worked with. And he has this thing called a vocoder. And a oh, vocoder yeah. is like you when you, you play the keyboard and you sing into it. This is the old style vocoder. It sounded like angels. Do you know what wow. I mean? So Tommy Mars in the middle of his solo goes to the vocoder and I'm three inches away from him. And, and, he's, and he's sweating, dripping, and everybody's you know completely sticky. And he starts playing in this, uh, on this vocoder in this angelic voice, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> I, first I laughed and then I vomited. <laughs> And I remember I got off stage and I saw Frank after the show, and it, and I was just like I thought I thought he was going to send me home. Sure. You know I I could not believe that he kept he actually kept me on the tour, and let me do the gigs. You played. 
And I played and I got the right notes. So that's what he was concerned with. But I remember I saw him and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and he goes, hey, sport. <laughs> he goes, you look like a guy that's been on tour for the first time. <laughs> Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome. <laughs>